Ryan Rose here. Uh, welcome to my office at Rose Horsemanship Center. And uh, today I'm gonna to be talking to you about how to set up a lesson plan for your horse. Um, this is something that I spend a lot of time thinking about what's the right program to be efficient. You know, when people send a horse for training, I value their, their time and their um, trust in me to develop their horse over the month, as well as the money that they're spending. And I wanna get the most out of it. So in order to optimize that horse's time here, I try to have a very clear plan that I'm gonna be working with the horses. So I try to incorporate every ride, every session, elements of confidence, so just things that they need to get comfortable with. It could be staying at a canter, staying at a trot, it could be distances, could be obstacles, going over tarp, going over barrels, the flag, whatever it is. Um, and then I try to have elements of yield, so their understanding of giving to pressure in some way. So we have steady pressure, we have rhythmic pressure. So we pick some different yields that we're gonna ask the horse to do. And then we also try to pick a pattern that we're gonna be riding the horse on. So normally what we have is the horse's names written up here, and then we can all follow this. So myself and uh, my assistant trainer, Grace, we can be on the same page with what each horse is, is working on. And it also gives us a clear focus for the week. So I try to stay on the same pattern for five days. So we, we ride Monday through Friday, and we try to keep that same focus with the horses uh, throughout the week. And then next week we adjust it. If there's something that we feel is super important for the horse, that maybe the horse is struggling with a little bit, we might keep that on the list for the next week. Uh, so let's just go through this. So let's say, um, let's say my horse, uh, Sage. So we'd have Sage's name, um, and then we'd say, okay, what are the different things we're working on confidence-wise? Um, well, uh, this week, um, maybe I'm working on getting her to cross the tarp. So we got the tarp up here, and uh, I would suggest you pick you know, between one and three things for each subject. Don't, don't go more than three, That's, that'd be too many things to, to really do a good job of focusing on. Um, and then yield wise, um, you know, let's say I'm working on my uh, sideways. So we got sideways up here, and then let's say I'm also asking her to, to bridle up in through her, her canter transition. So we're also working on um, soft feel. And for pattern wise, that would be uh, walk to canter. Um, is the pattern, so the transitions that we're working on, and then maybe I'm also working on, um, you know, uh, circles. So that's the, that's the program, that's how I would set it up and pick those things, and I would just integrate all those things into a session. You know, so for me that would be about 45 minutes total that, from the time that I'm doing some groundwork with her all the way to riding. The other part that I think is really critical to have in there is a warm up. So, what are you doing? So for me, the warm up is for the horse. How can I get the horse in the best learning frame of mind to, to set up everything that I want to focus on, my agenda, so that comes after I work with from where the horse is at through the warm up. So for Sage, she tends to have a little bit of tension, and so the warm up is, is uh, focused on getting her to be more relaxed and loose through her body. And then I jump into the different things that I want to be working on myself. Some horses um, that are a little more confident, a little more left-brained, you could call them, you have to focus on getting them to be more willing. So sometimes it's taking their idea and doing it more, over agreeing with them, until they start to run out of ideas and then they're ready to ask you some questions. And that's when you can kind of, again, jump into your agenda for them. So I hope this helps. Um, if you guys want more tips and instructional videos, make sure you check out thehorsemansuniversity.com. And uh, if you want to get a discount on the membership program that we have there, type in promo code ROSEHORSEMANSHIP, all capital letters, and uh, we'll see you guys later.